What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's 11 o'clock at night and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make some tacos. Everybody in my house is still up, so I'm about to cook, okay? And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start these vegan tacos with Morningstar Veggie Grill at Crumbles. And I'm gonna put it into a pan after spraying it with some cooking spray I mean whichever one you have I had this one so that's what I use just so it doesn't stick to the pan and get all messed up then I like to coat the crumblers with some McCormick Chipotle taco seasoning and we're gonna be using some shells you need taco shells lettuce guac if you like that we like Taco Bell taco sauce so we get that all from Walmart I make sure it's nicely coated and don't worry too much about getting every single inch of it because you are going to be mixing it around afterwards. I also like to add some garlic powder and onion powder just to add that extra flavor, really make it taste like meat. Continuously mixing it around helps so the bottom doesn't burn because it's not real meat so it cooks really quickly. And I cover it over just to let it simmer for a little while. Now this cheese that I'm using is not real cheese, it's actually non-dairy cheese. So it is vegan and I get it from Walmart. Now usually I don't have to go through the process of shredding it myself. I just buy the bag of the shredded non-dairy cheese. However, it wasn't there and I just didn't have any at the time so I had to do this but I made do and it looks good okay so afterwards I go back to the meat and I get ready to take it out because it cooks within minutes on medium so I got my shells ready and I switched the shells to these ones because the other ones I was gonna use actually went stale they just didn't taste right so I got this fresh box we tend to eat a lot of tacos when we do eat them, so I did need to use a good amount of the shells. And from here, it's pretty straightforward. You just put in all the ingredients, so start with your meat. I like to put the sauce next and the cheese to melt it just so it stays nice and clean looking. And then I'll put my lettuce and all that stuff over it. But that's about it. You really can put whatever you want on there. And I'll just take this moment to mention that there is a lot of vegan alternatives to the things that you normally eat. And a lot of the seasonings you tend to use on meat, you could actually use on your vegan alternatives. So you just have to do your research. Being vegan is not as hard as everybody makes it out to be and it's really healthy for you. Just do your research, have your priorities and check on why you want to do it and have fun with it try new recipes try new things try to make things that you normally eat vegan it's really fun but look i made these delicious tacos everything on it's vegan and it tastes amazing so try some try new things it's good for you
Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of vegan cooking videos on our channel. I thought I'd give you guys another simple daily dish idea to try if you're interested. And don't forget to like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoy videos like this where I'm showing you like different vegan dishes that I cook and just cooking in general, then let me know in the comment section down below and like this video. But besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one.